people uh, to take a deeper dive into this new law. And so this ban has some ex exceptions. Mm -hmm. Of course, opinions are divided on it. Uh, what do parents need to know this morning? Well, parents need to know that some schools have had this policy for a while. Others have not. It is now a law in Indiana as of effective July okay. 1st. So any technology, phones, laptops, gaming systems, anything that allows you to communicate with another person is banned from the classroom. Um, and even in some schools in between class time. So it needs to be locked up or um, if your child does not have an IEP or an educational need, disability, then they cannot have it in the classroom at all. So you mentioned that some will be locked away. It depends on the school. Mm -hmm. So this real, it, it's very individual. It is. So the, the law required that by July 1st, every school created a policy. Okay. And as I was sharing with you during the break, mm -hmm. not all schools had a policy. There are some schools where class phones are free range. So now every school has to have a policy that says it cannot be in the school, in the classroom. Let's talk about the, so the U.S. Senate recently passed something with this as well. Why is that why is it such a big issue? Yeah, so the U.S. Senate bill was really around social media use and holding social media companies responsible because social media use in kids is at the core of so much school violence, um, school suicides, mm. and bullying. And the, the detrimental effects that it's having on our kids is really why the Senate is really pushing now the House to move on a law to, to ban and really hold social media companies accountable. For some reason, until you said it, it never occurred to me it was more than just a phone. Oh, absolutely. iPad, like all that type stuff. Yeah. What are some final tips you have for people? Well, first of all, I want the parents to know that th this is a law now and that they should really understand what the consequences are. So it may require that parents have to take off work to go retrieve a phone. Your kid could get some discipline behind it. So there really needs to be some shared accountability mm. and kids know what's, what, what can happen if mm -hmm. you have the phone. Also, it's not a bad policy. We even try this at home. Let kids do their homework without the phone, do other tasks without the phone. Mm. Yeah. Encourage your student to do this without their mobile device at the ready sounds like something that's going to be tricky to have them do but it's important you know these seven hours that kids are going to have in school without the phone are just scratching the surface but um, our kids are really struggling because of cell phones and social media use and it's not a bad thing at all <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I had forgotten this was happening till I, you know, we talked about the subject for today and it's going to be tough for a lot of people. It is. It is. Good subject as usual. Thank you. And if this is your first time with us, Tammy's been in every month for years. We have so many subjects you can check out as well at fox59.com slash morning. We'll see you next month helping people. I'll be here. Thank you.